Hey friends, welcome back. Today's video is just going to be getting a lot of stuff done today. So I guess we'll call it a get it all done video. I'm just getting a lot of stuff done today. And then I'll also in just a few minutes show a couple little small hauls in here as well. A little small Aldi haul and then a very small Walmart haul. Not grocery Walmart, just like a couple of random things that I picked up when I went. But I am starting off by doing what I do most mornings, and that is making up my bed. I don't always do this. I don't usually do this like before school drop off, but it's usually after we get home and after I start doing some morning stuff that needs to get done. So I'm making up my bed. Um, Millie likes to help me with the chores. And then I also don't always do this, but I thought I would surprise the kids today with their beds made up when they got home because I don't always do this. They don't always do this. We don't make them always make up their bed, but I'm going to always get also getting in the kids rooms and making up their beds as well. got a very small Aldi order. Um, we are going to the beach in a couple days and we had to have at least a few things to last us the next couple of days. So I literally got the bare minimum, pretty much the bare minimum, minimum except I did stock up on got a couple of few different cereals. We've got French toast sticks. Um, we need breakfast stuff and I got eggs and I've got a pack of muffins. All I need is I didn't have any eggs to make those with. The girl, the kid's favorite Mama, Mama. smoothies. Mama. Can you want? Have you can have Bo Peep, yes. And then yes. also some yogurt tubes. It's been a while since I've been to Aldi. Um, also grabbed some I milk. All right, then we've got some lettuce. So we've got, I tried trying to also cook up what we already have. So, and green beans, yes. So I'm gonna do green beans tonight. And then we've also, the green beans that I shared in my last video. Strawberries. So I needed, uh, I've got ground beef laid out. I had some in my yeah. freezer. So we're gonna have burgers. So I, I grabbed some lettuce because I'm gonna do like a lettuce wrap burger. And then I also got some buns somewhere in here. Uh, and then in here, we've got two things of these. And then also two of these. Y'all know I love buying the Aldi cereal. Then my last bag, got veggie straws. We've got hamburger buns. We've got some bread. What else? Some applesauce. Whoa. Applesauce. And then, you're welcome. And then some cookies. Hey guys, it's the next day. I actually had every intention of this video being like a complete voiceover video. It's been so long since I've done one. Just a full clean in voiceover video. But that didn't happen. So I, it is the next day. I just got back from Walmart. I placed a Walmart pickup order for a few like non-grocery things. And um, then I was like, I'm just gonna go in Walmart cause I wanna look around. And then by the time I got out, it still wasn't ready. So I have to go back and get that. But I did get a couple things I thought I'd show y'all before we continue on with the rest of the video. Um, we're going to the beach tomorrow, which I don't know when this video is going to go up. I don't know if I'll get to editing it and get it up before or it might be like next week. I don't know. Anyways, I got some like toiletry containers to put shampoo, conditioner and things in. Um, I did get some milk because I didn't get that on the grocery order today. I love this Fairlife fat-free milk. It is great. And so far for those who have heard me talk about like my dairy intolerance, I just I, my body just don't do dairy very well. This is lactose free and so far it's been fine. So I got that. Um, I got some body wash to take. This is actually, I don't know if you can see it. This is the body wash, not this kind. This is the native. You can't see it, it's just bright. The native coconut and vanilla. I like the peach one the best for myself, um, but I got this for me. Hopefully it's enough. And the girls actually use native body wash because it's clean, cleaner ingredients um the girls actually use native body wash i think they're i can't remember the scent that they have um 
Anyways, I got this for all of us. We're just going to be a few days, actually four nights. Hopefully, hopefully it'll last us. If not, we'll go grab more. Or I might put some in here if we have an extra bottle. Anyways, I got that. I needed some more mascara. Sort of that. And then I got a couple clothing items. Um, they have, y'all, Walmart's fall stuff is so good. Um, so I got, let me stand up and I'll show you. This dress, they had four colors in this. It's like a flowy, this like rust or rust orange color is like such a good ball color and it was $13.98. I'll link what I can below. Um, and then I also got this. Um, I've saw so many people share these pullovers and I love this. This pullover is actually from Walmart and I'm very comfy today, like yesterday. This is from Walmart last year. I have three different colors in this and I wear it all the time and it has been so good and I wish they'd come back out with it. And I ended up getting this one. This is a little more heavier of a pullover. Um, I'll link it below. This is a small, I, they, this is the only one I saw in store. It wasn't even in the right spot. I would prefer a medium, but the small is good too. But if I order more colors, I'll probably get a medium. So I got that as well. So that's my little Walmart haul. Next up, we are doing some laundry. Um, I actually got three loads of laundry done total this day, which normally we usually do like a load of day or I'll skip a day and then I have like three loads. So usually it's not just a load of day, it's usually a couple loads, but usually like every other day I'll let mine and Ethan's clothes pile up, all the kids clothes, and then also our towels. And so that's what I usually do. Like every other day, I'll fold three loads of laundry and that's just been my routine lately and it's just worked out best. But while I was in here, I thought I would also go ahead and straighten up the laundry room as well. We are leaving for vacation tomorrow. Well, tomorrow in this video as I'm filming this. Um, and before we leave, I wanted to get the kids summer shoes cleaned up because they are very dirty. I don't know if the big girls will bring, want to bring these or if they want to bring other like summer water sandals that they can also get wet. Um, but I thought I'd go ahead and give these a good clean in. These are their natives. They've had these since last year and all of them still fit them. They are getting small, but they've got the rest of the summer left and then they'll have to get new ones. But getting those cleaned up, I just wash those with a toothbrush and some like Dawn soap and then I'll use like a magic eraser and they usually come pretty clean, but they are getting very worn out these days because they've had them for so long and they wear them all the time. But next I am getting in the kitchen, wiping down the table and also getting in the living room and straightening it up. I'm just tidying things up because I am going to be mopping our floors. As I mentioned, we are leaving for the beach tomorrow. Um, so this video will go up, I don't know, whatever day it goes up. Maybe the day that we leave is what I'm going to hope for. However, sometimes that don't always happen, but we are leaving for the beach tomorrow. And it brings up a lot of emotions. Um, we lost our baby boy two months ago. Actually, we came, if y'all, I know most of y'all have been around, but we came back from Florida, which we're not going to Florida this time. I don't know if I will ever be able to go back to the area of Florida we went to and it's just like I, I feel a little trauma from that coming straight home and realizing things were not okay with our baby although there's nothing that I can pinpoint down there that I could have done I can't help but to think like if I wouldn't have went would things be different or you know what is there something that could have happened down there that could have caused it and I don't know if I'll ever be able to go back to that part of Florida again um but it just brings back emotions actually going to the beach again because last time I was there I was expecting our baby boy and I'm so excited to go we've had so much going on in our life lately that 
I haven't shared on here on YouTube. Um, I've shared some over on Instagram, but we have had a lot going on. A lot of unexpected things that have came up that we are working through. We are processing and I think it's going to be great to get out of town for a few days with the kids and with some family and it's just going to be a lot of fun. So that's why I am getting all this done today so that way I can spend tomorrow getting everything packed because we are going to be leaving as soon as the kids get home from school. So I am now vacuuming. Usually before I mop, I actually use my robot vacuum cleaner and let it go around because it does the absolute best job on vacuuming. Like that thing will get up every single piece of dirt, anything in the floor, any crumb around the edges. It does not miss anything. It is the Roborock. Um, I think it's called the Roborock S7. It's, I worked with them a couple years ago and I have continued it has been one of my favorite home items that I've ever used. We use it every single day. And so usually instead of using um, the vacuum that I was using, I'll use that. I'll let it run, which takes about 30 minutes to go through the main areas. And then I'll go in and mop. But for the sake of time, I used my other uh, upright vacuum to, or my um, cordless vacuum, I should say. And then I am mopping with my steam mop. I love this thing. Usually when I mop, this is nine times out of 10, this is what I'm using is the steam mop. So if I can remember, I'll link this below. It is great. It does a really great and effective job at cleaning the floors and I use it so often. Like I said, I had three loads of laundry to do today and um, I finished two of them here in this video and then I got to the last load a little bit later in the day. Um, so I ended up folding mine and Ethan's laundry, which I'm doing here. And then after this, I'll fold all the whites and you'll have to tell me what is your favorite laundry to fold we always say like we'd rather have like a hundred towels versus all the kids laundry like it's so much small things with the kids and then like towels are just so easy so we would both Ethan and I would definitely say we would rather fold lots of towels over like small pieces of clothes but I always say like I'm so grateful for those clothes we get to fold but um yeah, I'm getting all the laundry done. I feel so accomplished when all of our laundry is done for the day and for the next couple of days.
that is going to be it for this video. I thought, why not do like a quick, like 15 or so minute video and get some stuff done. I haven't done one of these, I feel like in a while, like a specific, like get it all done cleaning video. So it's very simple, but I hope y'all enjoyed it either way and hanging out with me. And I hope you guys have a good weekend and I'll see you guys or good week, weekend, whenever you see this and I'll see you guys soon for another one. Bye.